gosh, I love these streets. Good morning, guys. Bright and early in the morning. Sunrise mission. Well, it feels like sunrise mission. I woke up at 6, not catching a sunrise, but I'm up and early for this tour today out at Abraham Hostels in Nazareth. So again, I booked a tour through Abraham Tours. I'll put the link below so you can book it if you guys are coming out here. And today we are going on the Sea of Galilee Golan Heights tour. I'm not 100% sure exactly what that um, entitles us to going to or where we're going to, but um, right now I am up at 6. 6.45 it is right now and meeting at Mary's Well at 7 and we have a full day tour diving into the culture, diving into the history, the next probably remaining vlogs out here in Israel. So uh, I got about a five minute walk down these cute little alley streets and uh, I should be at Mary's Well shortly. This is so cute. Jeez, I love this. And here is Mary's Well. Unfortunately it doesn't work which I checked out yesterday in yesterday's vlog. And I think this is our tour bus. Okay, friends, uh, my name is Hanan. I work for Abraham Tours. I will be with you today. I will do the best that you will have a wonderful tour, wonderful time. Thank you that you choose our company and welcome in Nazareth. I'm from Nazareth, by the way. So we are driving through the town of Cana right now. This is actually a very, very cultural uh, town, a historic town. This is the town where Jesus turned water into wine, and right now we are about to pass like a very, very historic church, and uh, that's where a lot of people renew their marriages. This is where Jesus made the first miracle, the water and the wine. So the church is like right over there with the green roof, and this is where Jesus made water into wine right over here. We arrive here to our first visit, Kapernaum, the town of Jesus. Here, the entrance they charge five shekel. Thank you. We just paid five thousand Israeli shekels. That's equivalent to like three, four bucks, I honestly don't know. And we made it to the town of Capernaum. This is the town that Jesus lived at. So yesterday I was at Mount Precipice when Jesus was kind of like refused, where they didn't believe that he was the son of God and all his miracles. And they wanted to push him off the cliff, but he ended up jumping off the cliff. He ended up fleeing Mount Precipice into this area. He walked, he hiked very, very far, and he made it to Capernaum, which is, basically the town of Jesus. It was, again, five shekels to get in here. There's a lot of history here. There's a lot of holy history here, let's say. And it's absolutely beautiful. So it's like runes. There's... Check this out. Look at this. It seems like it's kind of like runes or something, but this is crazy. And again, my goal, I don't really want this to be like a religious, anything like that type vlog series, but there's a lot of history, there's a lot of culture, especially the fact that I was Catholic. I learned a lot about this back, back in the day, and uh, it's a very blessing. Let's say it's a blessing to be here. So this is the synagogue of Capernaum. So this is like so surreal walking around here. Just the fact that I learned so much about it from school a long, long time ago. And uh, back, back in the day, I think before Jesus came, this was a fishing village. Fortunately, there's no drones allowed. And the thing about traveling by myself, I know I'm with a tour group today, uh, but for the next week I'm traveling by myself, I can't get the shots that I want. I love traveling, I love solo traveling. Um, I haven't been doing much solo traveling this year, which is good in a way, but uh, I can't get any of the shots that I want. But still amazing to be here, still surreal. Check out this statue. The art Peter upon this rock will build my church, Matthew. This is insane, and the Sea of Galilee is actually right behind us right over there, which we'll dip in later. And we got about 20 more minutes before we head out, so I'm gonna get a quick view of the Sea of Galilee, and then I'm probably gonna walk back towards the car. But here is the Sea of Galilee. Woo! We're supposed to go swimming in this later, so I'll just save it for later. So that was a quick 45 minute stop. We are driving about 15, 20 minutes now to the Mount Beatitude. I think that's how you say it. And I ended up switching to long sleeve shirt, or at least something to cover my shoulders, because that's what you're supposed to do out here.
So it was a quick drive. It was literally like a 10 minute drive. We made it to the Mount of Beatitudes. It was a 30 shekels entrance fee for our entire bus. And supposedly this is like the best viewpoints of the Sea of Galilee. This is where Jesus actually delivered the sermon. I think that's what it's called. So there's a lot of history here. There's a lot of culture. And look at this view. This is the Sea of Galilee. This is so beautiful. And that's about where we were at earlier. Woo! So it's so pretty out here. It's uh, really hot, so I'm about to throw some sunscreen on. And we have about 40 minutes here, a quick 30, 40 minutes before you go to the next spot. The next spot's gonna be about an hour drive. Before that, I'm gonna throw a little sunscreen on and uh, yeah, shoot the drone up and then we'll get out of here. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it here. So I ended up going to the other side. There's like a little church on that side and uh, now we're gonna drive an hour to the next spot. Late at night, late at night. All right guys, so it was like an hour drive. We made it to Banyas Waterfalls. He told us to buy the tickets as quick as we can because it lines up really fast. And the tickets are 28,000 in Rayleigh shekels. That's like six bucks. So we're gonna get some tickets and we're gonna trek to the waterfall. 28 shekels, this is the ticket. And this is the trail. And unfortunately we can't go swimming in this waterfall. That's what they said. Nah, oh well. All right, I think we made it. So it like runs down here. And this looks to be the start of the waterfall. Woo. Pretty aggressive. I could definitely see why he said not to go swimming in it because the water is really, really strong. And it was one of the easiest hikes compared to like Indonesia when we went to Tumpak Sawu and a couple of the waterfalls a month ago. It was actually like 20 steps, 30 steps down, that's it. Then like a quick three minute walk and here's the waterfall. So we're gonna hang out at the waterfall for like 20, 30 minutes and then we're gonna go back up Honestly, it's, it's pretty. Unfortunately, you can't jump in it or do anything else, so maybe I would recommend it, maybe I wouldn't. I was actually considering not coming down here because I saw some epic waterfalls last month in Indonesia, but still, this is pretty. And I'm only gonna be in Israel, I don't know how many times, so. Woo! Enjoy. All right, just a quick short ride from our lunch spot. We made it to the top of Mount Bental. We have 30 minutes here. It's basically like a, a five minute drive up and uh, only a two minute walk to the viewpoint. But here at this viewpoint, we could supposedly see Syria. Like Syria is really, really close to where we're at. So right here is like a lot of tourists. He said to keep going straight and uh, we should be able to see Syria, which is really cool. And it's even crazier. We're like 1100 feet above sea level. Maybe it's meters, 1100 something blank above sea level. And you're greeted by a giant red dinosaur. <laughs> And poop. Woo. I almost stepped in it. I almost stepped in the poop. If you guys are coming to Mount Pintal, look out for the poop. Oh, almost stepped in it again. <laughs> All right, so just past like the pizza shop. Confirms me. So it's 1,165 meters above sea level. And I think we made it to the spot. Check it out. Wow. This is insane, the views. And then I think that's Syria. This is so crazy. Alright guys, we are in the bunkers right now. We're trying to find a way out of here. I don't know where to go. Oh, look what I found! I found a shelter! Let's get safe! Oh, it's, oh, it smells in here. <laughs> it's a stinky little shelter. <laughs> All right, so that was a quick shot. Uh, I was considering shooting the drone up, but two reasons I didn't shoot it up. The wind is pretty bad up here, and Syria is right there. Like, we're literally at a bunker with these guys, like, shooting guns out. They're, like, mannequins, you could say. And uh, I was like, should I shoot the drone up? I don't want my drone to get shot down yet. <laughs> so we've got about a 10 minute drive right now. Again, it was a quick shot here. Beautiful views, incredible to see Syria. And uh, after 10 minutes, we should be making it to our wine tasting. Now we just gotta find our guy. All right, for our second to our last stop, we made it to Bahat Winery. It was only like a 10 minute drive. This is an awesome tour, but we're about to do some wine tasting, which I'm really excited. 
basically once you enter they give you like a shot of liquor and then we're gonna taste I think three or four different wines. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Mm, excuse me. We got some chocolate liquor here. Hmm, it's pretty good. So we are now entering the secret room where dreams come true. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going for the video, for the video, for the video, for the video, for the video. For the video. Perfect. Look at her pour. Oh, oh yeah. The standard, the less, and then the alcohol. Oh yeah. They definitely saved the best for last. This is the cab. This is really, really good. And she poured me like a full glass. Alright guys, yeah, it is very hot like what he was saying and uh, we ended up driving about 45 minutes to an hour. We left the Golan Heights. It was such a cool experience all day traveling through the Golan Heights and now we made it to Hekuk Beach. I think that's how you pronounce it and uh, it's a free beach so you get to hang out, get to do a little swimming. Now what he did say is it's not a typical beach so there's not really much sand at all. It's more of a very, very rocky beach. There you go. Hikuk Beach. <laughs> oh, it is not sandy at all. This is uh, actually like just stones. This is like really, really rocky. Nothing really special about this beach, specifically the rocks at least. It's not that comfortable, ow. But we are at the Sea of Galilee. No pictures? I love the picture. Really? Oh, he's just tricking me. <laughs> I was recording the whole time. <laughs> Okay. California, where? San Diego? San Francisco. Oh, Africa. Yes. Uh, Silicon Valley, no? Silicon, yeah. In Napa. Napa, yes. Yes. And, uh, university there. Yes. San Francisco. Okay. Good Thank you. Expensive. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Israel is expensive, too. Everyone here, 20 years to buy a house there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. So he faked me out. He's like, this is an a military base you're not allowed to take any photos at all and I was like what of course I was still recording but we made it to the Sea of Galilee and uh, yeah I gotta get my clothes off so I can at least jump in the Sea of Galilee once all right it is really really rocky but about to walk into the Sea of Galilee Woo! it's really warm it's definitely like pee I figured how many <laughs> <laughs> He's calling me out. <laughs> He's like San Francisco, no camera still. <laughs> but I am in the Sea of Galilee. It is really warm. I actually took my GoPro out just in case I go underwater. You know what? Why not? And the thing about this lake, it's actually the lowest freshwater lake in the planet, like the lowest, and it's the second lowest lake in regards to elevation in the entire world, so it's pretty insane, but this lake is so refreshing, it's so nice. So what's up guys? Welcome. I'm a YouTuber. Welcome, welcome to the vlog. Hello. Hello. Are you guys from here? Yes. Do you no, guys... from Arishan. Arishan. In, Is yes. in Israel still? So. Yes. This is beautiful. Do you guys come here a lot? Yes. Every like weekend or on the random weekends? For uh, holidays. For holidays, okay. So it's a nice little spot to travel for holidays. They come here for holidays. Sea Lao travel. Sea travel, yep. Yep. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> but this is kind of nice. So he's saying that a lot of people, they come here for holidays. And uh, we're coming here for the tour. Fortunately and unfortunately, but it's really nice to be floating in the Sea of Galilee. I can't really float because it's fresh water. We also got a jet ski right there. I don't know who's going to use it. I would love to use it, but... We still have like another 45 minutes. Get to hang out in the Sea of Galilee. This is really nice. I think the water is really murky. Let's see if you can see me underwater. Oh, no, not too many pictures? No, 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 no. He's saying take more photos. And he's literally calling me San Francisco. <laughs> can I pee? Okay. He said I could pee in here. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> All 
Alright, so it was super hot out here, but the Sea of Galilee was super refreshing and uh, <laughs> the lifeguard was really entertaining. But right now we're heading back on the tour bus right now and we have about an hour and a half, potentially a two hour drive all the way back to the hostel because of traffic. He's saying it's rush hour, hopefully it's not that bad. And uh, it was an incredible day with Abraham Tours, so I'm probably gonna take a nap and let's jump back on the bus and get back to Nazareth. Okay. Thank you okay, very much. Brother. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for Thank the tour. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we just got dropped off in Nazareth back at Mary's Well, and uh, it was uh, such an incredible day today out in Nazareth. I would highly recommend Abraham Tours. If you guys are coming out, out to Nazareth specifically, check out the Sea of Galilee Golan Heights tour. It was incredible. Right now we're heading back to the hostel at 6 p.m. They're gonna be hosting a cooking class, which I'm really, really stoked about, even though I'm really, really tired. Uh, but we're definitely gonna do the cooking class. I'm not 100% sure what we're cooking, but we're gonna do that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new. I have a couple videos out already from Israel with a ton more to come and I have a ton of videos out in Southeast Asia and all over the world. So welcome to my channel if you guys are brand new. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Throw down some comments on some extra, maybe some different foods again that I should try or some other activities I should be doing out here in Israel. And make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified for the next videos which will be out Actually, tomorrow I'm heading to Jerusalem, so I'm really excited for that. So be on the lookout for that video, and uh, I'm gonna try not to get hit by a car. And I'll catch you guys in the next vlogs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers. Subscribe! Subscribe! Oh, that sounds really safe.